What's going on guys, today we're showing you random like uh, tricks and tips just to like get better in FL Studio. Um, so pretty much just to help your workflow so that you're faster. I'm just going to be showing you tricks you probably didn't know. And maybe there'll be some tricks in there that you did know. But uh, yeah, let's just go through. Okay, so the first one, pretty simple trick. Uh, probably one you already know is, so say for example, you want these all to connect. What you're going to want to do is press Alt L after you've selected them all and uh, what will happen is they'll all connect to each other and yeah all you then do is press accept and then they're all like this connected uh, another thing that might happen quite a lot is you might accidentally split these all by channel so now if that happens what you're going to want to do if you want them all back on the same channel rack what you're going to do is you're going to take all of the clips and put them all into one track uh, right click up here on track one and then click merge pattern clips that way they all come back together and right here we have the new one which brings them all back together on one channel rack and you have it all together again then another trick that uh, you can do when you're in the piano roll is uh if you want to change through all these uh, controls down here what you can do is you can hold shift and keep pressing f what it will do is it will um go through all of these uh controls down here but you know you can also just pretty quite simply just go on control and then just scroll with your mouse which will also change through these uh different uh, controls so yeah whatever is easier for you next thing you can do to switch between the different piano rolls without clicking is you hold down the control key and press on K and as you can see it will just uh, change between the different uh, piano rolls. What you can also do again is you can just go up here and scroll with your mouse or click on it and you'll be able to just choose which one you want to go on. So another thing you can do if you've uh, recorded something into FL Studio, some kind of vocal or anything and you don't want it to like abruptly end, what you can do is you can uh, double click on the sample. Here there's a de-clicking mode. Click on this here right here and then click on crossfade bleeding. The just the bottom one. What you do then is if you clicked on it, this will appear right here and pretty much it will just give a more smoother outro as you can see and you can, yeah, you can just pretty much mess with that how you want. Another trick that you can do if you've ever, um, if you've ever accidentally like replaced a sound um, that you don't like and you can't find the original one you had in there, if you click on the sound itself right up here and you click right click right here on file, you'll see the history of all the different uh, sounds you've used. So let's say so for example the kick I used before that I preferred than the one I have right now All I'll do is I'll click on the old one It will uh, replace it with the old one I used to have on there and yeah the whole history is just showed here So you can just switch back and forth Another trick if you don't want all of these sounds for example Or if you've recorded audio or vocals or anything and you don't want all of them here or like on the side So let's say I've deleted like these two, but they're still over here, right? If I don't want those anymore and you're sure that you only want the stuff that's still on the on the whole arrangement like thing here what you're going to want to do is press on tools macros and then come over here to purge unused audio clips if you click that it will delete all the things that are not right now over here another trick that if you can do that i probably already showed you before is if you select all of these notes in the piano roll and you press alt R, what you'll get is this randomizer right here and what you can pretty much do with that is you can first off play with the velocity you can pan them um, you can do the release and all that stuff you can do that down here what you can also do is you can make your own pattern out of it so if you press up here with pattern what we'll do is we'll just make random like notes and you can mess around with that like the less notes you want or like a variation how long you want them all that kind of stuff that can help with making your own melodies so yeah another trick is if you have chords down what you can also do is you can select them and press alt s what that will do is it'll bring up the strumizer right here what you can do with that is you can mess with what time that they play so as you can see if i mess with the timing it will like mess with what time each note plays so that can make any like instrument sound more realistic and then you can also play around with the velocity how hard each note is hitting so yeah you can play with that as well uh, another example of a trick is uh, let's say you've used all the effects you can on one channel what you're going to do next if you want to add even more effects what you'll do is you'll go on the channel that, have, that has too many effects on it and you'll unclick it here from the master so that way the audio from here is not going to the master anymore so what you're going to want to do is you want to connect it to a different one so let's say uh, the audio from this goes to channel 12 first and then over here you can add another 10 effects and then this one will lead it straight over to the master channel then the next thing is let's say all these effects that i put on here before i want to copy them over and put them on insert 18. what i'm going to do is right click on the right track then go to file and then over here there's save mixer track state as what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this hold it and go over to 18 and just drop it on 18. boom it copies the whole thing over and now all the things that add on 11 are now also 
on 18. Another thing you can do is, uh, let's say I put, put in this sample right here and I don't remember which drum kit I took it out of anymore. So what I can do is I can just take this sample right here, go over here and drop it and it will open the right sound kit and everywhere where I've got it from. And it searched out all the drum kits and it shows you where you got it from. So yeah, that's pretty much all the tricks I'm gonna show for today. That's just a few of them. If you have any questions, you know, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, you know, if you have any ideas or videos you wanna see from me, let me know as well. Check out my main channel, all that stuff, and peace. Around with ten sticks on my feet, they all black. You better not run up on me. Told you better fall back.